Hello everyone. So ngayon naman, instead of having a single page for our subscribe form, we'll modify this to create a modal. So when we click the subscribe menu, lalabas yung modal. So let's check on the documentation of Bootstrap and search for modal. Kung paano at ano yung itsura ng modal. So, dito sa baba, my example, when we click this button, the model will appear. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, dito, sa model body na to, dito natin lalagay yung form. So, what we have to do is first copy this code, click on the copy button. And then sa brackets natin, instead of dito sa subscribe.html, ang index.html ang gagamitin natin. And then, bago mag-footer, let's paste our codes here. Control V. And then, select all this code and apply proper indention. So, ito yung trigger ng modal natin. So, again, yung modal, hindi siya automatic na lalabas. Kailangan may magpitrigger like clicking a button. So, dito, instead of this code, yung gagamitin natin trigger ay yung menu natin na subscribe. So, I'll just copy this code here. Tapos, dun sa menu natin sa taas. We have to paste this code sa subscribe link. So instead of having href, itong code na to ang ilalagay natin. Itong data target na to will change this into subscribe modal. This should be the ID of your modal sa baba. Let's remove this part here. And then, itong ID, let's change that into subscribe model. So again, itong ID na to should be the same with what we have sa taas. So let's save and preview first kung gumagana. Let's refresh and click on the subscribe menu. So ito na yung model natin. Now let's modify our model in instead of model title, let's type subscription form. And then dito sa model body, lalagay natin yung form. So open the subscribe.html and copy the form code here. Make sure it's from the opening form tag until the closing form tag. After copying, paste it here. So same, let's apply proper indention. Select the codes up until here and then press tab. Ito, decrease natin yung indent. Just press backspace. Click on subscribe link. Now we have our subscription form. I think we need to reduce the padding and margin for this part here. And also let's remove the background color. So let's go to the brackets. Remove the BG light. Pwede natin to ilagay dun sa modal mismo. Pero let's remove this first. Reduce the padding to 2. Let's save and preview. So now, wala na tayong background color and less na yung spacing natin sa taas. So I think we need to remove the whole padding and the margin. So let's save and preview again. 
Refresh. Okay, I think this one looks good. And then what's next is for the buttons. Let's remove this one. And we will use the button of the model. This is for the close button and save changes. Let's change this into subscribe now. Save and then preview. So now we have our subscription form. Again, di walang function tong buttons, but itong close by default, may function na siya. Oops, I think we have problem here. I think it's for the the same for for the check boxes. Let's change the for value. Let's just rename the IDs in for to grid check one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Let's see. Let's save and preview. Let's test the check boxes. Now it's working properly. Again, the ID of this checkbox should be the same of this for attribute of this label. Para when you click on the label, nage enable yung checkbox. So that's it. What we did was we copied the modal code from the documentation paste it in our code, and then modify it by adding the form code from our subscribe.html. So, for the final design of our site, hindi na natin gagamitin to si subscribe.html na page. Instead, we will just make use of the model. So, I think that's it. If you have questions and clarifications, please comment it down below. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.